Everybody, welcome back. X and Knowles full force. The whole crew is here. And yes, more difficult than you think to pull off the W against an inferior conference opponent after a bye week. It's not automatic. Uh -oh. Things can go wrong. <laughs> they did not go wrong for Mike Norvell in Florida State. Oh, down south. I think we're going to have a little special video for you about the circumstances that was that the most delicious coaching meltdown of all time. But this video is not here to be concerned with that. That should, there's other shot in Freud that we're going to tackle for that. We are going to talk about Florida state's resounding victory over Virginia tech 39 to 17, a game that Adam and I broke down on the instant reaction. Florida state pretty much controlled the entirety of the contest. Second quarter was a little weird. We talked in the instant. Why we thought the refs played an outsized effect on like the rhythm tempo. And then, Virginia Tech's like 17 play scoring drive. We'll see if that kind of holds true as we watch the film. Adam, you have not had the chance to rewatch it yet. This is going to be your first rewatch, right? Yep. Okay. Same with me, Kevin. I know that you were traveling. Got a yep. little crap for not being on the instant. He's got a life, guys. It's not just he was chemistry. going analytical war for Mario Cristobal. That's true. <laughs> yeah. he got a mole in there. He was chewing me out. It's good stuff, dude. Um, Kev, what did you – you got to see bits and pieces. What did you think of the overall performance before you, we kind of get into the meat of it here watching this condensed game? Yeah, so I uh, – yeah, I was at an event on Saturday. So I got to see 22-3, to 3, stepped out for a little bit, and I got to see a little bit of the end. So um, uh, it'll be good to see kind of what happened and get a closer look at, you know, kind of how – when I checked my phone uh, after 22-3 to 3 and it said 22-17, to 17, uh, how that kind of happened. So uh, it'll be a fun adventure for me kind of getting to watch it with fresh eyes. It'll be weird. I will say I, I want you to pay particular uh, particular attention to the running game renaissance that happened here because Adam and I kind of surmised why we thought it looked a little bit different, but it'll be nice to get into the film and break it down. So let's just do it. Yeah, we may not end up with quite as much of the full picture because we're going to go off the condensed version for this game. Just because I don't feel like there's as much of a story to tell as we no, typically have. Was, what we've was, had of late with the with some of the full games. I mean, based off based off uh, looking at the stats, it was very very similar kind of story to what we've been seeing all year. Yeah, well, there wasn't a lot of Jaheim Bell early. You saw quite a bit of Kyle Morlock. Well, if you want to get back to that play, yeah. um, since we aren't doing them all, but yeah, a lot of this RPO stuff um, to the tight end early in the game felt like they were trying to get Jordan in a little bit of a rhythm. Also kind of taking advantage of, of, of some of what they were getting run look wise from Virginia tech. Great blocking on the edge. We it's funny enough, Kev, we kind of talked about that. I think it was yesterday morning or, or Friday evening um, about that. The edge blocking hadn't been as stellar this year as it's what it's what it was last year, but, no, Number held four up well. on the show in this game. Keon. Keon oh, you're blocked. talking about like wide receiver blocking. Okay. Perimeter yeah, yeah, yeah. blocking. Yeah. yeah. Great Perimeter block there. Keon, Keon blocked his tail off in this game. Like it do, it's not going to show up in the stat on the or on the in the stat sheet, but yeah, I mean that's the difference between this being a, a four yard gain and a yep. yeah. first down. We've seen him, we've seen in the past defenders be able to kind of undercut this and maybe get in the legs of the tight end and kind of stop it for four, like you're saying, but it get, it pops for eleven or twelve there because of how good of a job they do blocking down the field. And that's that's the margins that we were talking about, how they were close. And he got called on a bullcrap holding call, too. In breaking route, Kev, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. They were This first drive, they ran with really nice tempo, dude. And, yeah. and I thought to get Jordan in that rhythm, uh, I think that it was mission it was mission accomplished for almost the entire first quarter. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of checking at the line of scrimmage. They just kind of went out there and let, run the play, let Jordan run the play, got up on the ball, ran the play snapping the ball quick got back up on the line quick it'll be interesting to see so this is a first and 10 i've i have a i have a pet theory and i, I think there's a little data to back this up I'll, I'll be curious to see if i can find some more but these little short to intermediate routes it feels like they go to them on these scripted drives in the first and third quarters after after the half i'll be curious to see if these kind of looks these little easy passes get the ball moving continue when they start struggling down the, down the stretch for, for that second quarter? I don't think they did, to be honest with you. I, I remember a screen no, here, too. I'm pretty but... sure that's the only one that happened in the game. Yeah. So, so what are they running here? 
it's hard to tell. It might be duo. Uh, I think it, it might be yeah, just inside duo. zone. Yeah. The, uh, the fact that he looks like he's pass setting here makes me think it's duo. So double teams up front. So no read off that, just a straight handoff. Well, it's kind of glitchy for me, so I can't really. Yeah, I think he's reading it. Um, I think he's reading this defensive end here. Same, mm-hmm. so do I, by the eyes, mm-hmm. yeah. But yeah, you can see the defensive end staying patient. You know, he's he's there. He's ready. They're working Let's... some of their triple option look down there. And Adam and Kev, I mean, I think they're getting more favorable looks in the run game, and we, we've we talked about it mm-hmm. in the group chat. Adam and I talked about it that yesterday. I feel like the run game's more effective when they spread teams horizontally, and they don't have all that muck with the tight ends up on well, the line, which is... We looked at it. Yeah, we, we looked at it a lot yesterday, and Kev, Kev you had said that uh, based on... Um, True media, true media data that Florida State's seeing the fourth most cover one in the country. Like, yep, mm-hmm. you're seeing a ton of one high. And if you're in a twelve, if you're in twelve personnel, or if you've got an attached Y with a with an H back kind mm-hmm. of look, like you're going to get eight men in the box when you spread them out. Now you got a, now you got a six man box, and you know right. you include Jordan in the run game and start reading guys. It, it it helps you a little bit. So yeah, now you have. A blocker for every every guy that could possibly make this tackle. Yeah, I mean, they, they kind of gash them on these first couple drives with, with the run game out of these looks. And I think I think duo helps here. I think yeah. you know that Virginia Tech's linebackers just don't do a good job of reading this. Right. Um, I have to be curious about what their linebacker coach is teaching them. Um, but who could that be? I wonder <laughs> who's in charge of their linebackers. But yeah, they're they're kind of out of place. Don't really know what to do. Do a good job recovering, keeping it to a you know twelve yard gain, but and that's a call. That's a call right there. That third and seven run. They're calling for. They're going to go for it on fourth, but they don't have to because they were so Ooh, effective. Little, little power read here. Yeah, you think they're reading it off the backside of this? Well, yeah. I mean, there's. I don't. I, I don't know. I don't know if they are or not. Yeah, I've never really seen. I've James never James seen. Yeah, I, I, I can't think of maybe one instance where Jordan's kept it, but I like it though. It kind of get, gets the ball on the outside. Yeah. Gets. You get some you get some uh, key breakers because you get the linemen pulling if backers are reading those linemen. You can, you're influencing that end, getting in the step down. Benson gets up block speed, up. yeah. This is a good block by Morlock on a on a mm-hmm. linebacker. So he's struggled blocking kind of when he's in an inline position, but here he is in, out in space doing a pretty good job. So yeah, Douglas up fighting too. Yeah, Douglas walling him off. Yeah. Yep. It's good, man. It looks a lot different. It, it it looks a lot different than what we saw when they were bogged down in the four games before. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy they went to it. Look at that. Byers getting his ass a little bit, brother. <laughs> yeah. That cut that playoff a little bit short, but yeah. Was that right. Smith? I don't know. I really like this play. They've gone to it several times, especially in the red zone. They like it. It's a little RPO. He comes up, you get a one-on with Johnny running a little dig route. Something I think they could do a little bit more in the middle of the field. That was nice. Uh, throwing off his back a foot a lot. Yeah, a Adam. lot's been made of that. I don't. I don't understand. I don't quite get it. He's he's thrown off platform quite a bit now. In previous years too. I mean, I, I get there's a guy kind of barreling down on him, but you don't like the you don't like the 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 footwork it's just of that. A, yeah, it's just it's not good habits like. And it, it's, it catches up to him. He had a really good game, I thought. He was more willing to I mean, that ball runner. behind him because of how he's throwing the football. Like, but what I'm going to say is that there were a number of underthrown balls on this. I, I've like, been maybe, all year long. Yeah, so it's, like you said, we're, we're kind of fighting against habits that seem to have formed. But, I mean, he makes the right decision. He's decisive, and it's a good enough throw. It just it looks a little janky from the throw and motion standpoint. I just will run, it, run it back to that look again, please. There you go. I just like to see him snap his hips around there. Snap his hips around, get his feet set. Like you're on it, you know where the read is, you know where the ball's got to go. Yeah, I mean, like, you can get, you get snapped and reset. Like boom, right there, gets get reset. Yeah, he's still falling this way. Yeah, it's just it's. I don't know. Yeah, gets a better I, defense. I feel like Tony kind of teaches some of that stuff though. Like if you watch some of the drills. Oh really? I didn't. A lot of a lot of people said it might have been injury protection, like trying to. I don't. The, the off platform stuff. He's been doing yeah. it forever. Like he's, yeah. he did it last year, and no one complained about it when he was <laughs> when you know. Who's this beaten. guy? Is this Chumiento? Who's this? Brian Courtney. Oh, is it? Okay, good yeah. for him, buddy. Get in there. Two point. I missed that yesterday. I, I missed it, it too. Stepped away. 
All right, that aggressive defense that everybody hates. <laughs> that was a little, uh, an often used word. Damn. I, I think I just can't believe how the, the, the vitriol that people have for Adam Fuller. It is incredible. People are going to be upset no matter what. I mean, no that's, matter that's what. a good play. Renardo Green's having himself a season. Yeah. He's they, they dictated terms that first drive. I, I mean, you, you didn't get to see every play, but. No. Yeah, they came out. They were very aggressive. Downhill. Second tight coverage. one. Tough run here. I don't know how the line does on that one. Eh, good enough, I guess. Yeah, yeah there's. Yep. Mo does a nice job. Overtake up. with, with Meech. I think Meech loses Roddick's, the block a little bit there. He's got a hat on a hat there. I mean, it's not, it's not bad. Short yardage, they're coming downhill. No, I like I like what Mo did there. That helped get into the second level. The guards are still, man. I don't know. I don't know what they, maybe they do a little bit. I mean, they, obviously they must do a little bit better later in the game. Yeah, but that's beautiful. Right. I will call this down. Other people will call it other things. They're they're wrong. <laughs> not, not really. <laughs> it's just what I call it. They're they're not. It's just just yeah. what I like to call it. Okay, Roddick gets a gets a piece. It's hard. Yeah, they do. They do a nice job of getting wall, getting this walled off here with um, Darius and Biscuit, and then Roddick is going to get a hat on a hat out there. Yeah, it seemed like they were going outside, doing more down stuff. Mm -hmm. Potentially, interesting like enough, Virginia Tech's the first team that hasn't spilled everything. I like Biscuit's block there, Adam. I like how. A lot of, a lot of, it's a lot of times those big guys when they get to the second level they kind of look like like lost out there like dancing baby elephants but he lays a nice block and dude really allows Benson to get get a lot more yeah. yardage here yep. look at that. bam there you go exactly what you need and he's doing a nice job go ahead, to expand on what AB was saying uh, so if this team was truly spilling this you would see fifty six see the puller and attack his inside shoulder to try to make the running back bounce outside. Everybody's done it this year against Florida State for no. whatever reason. Virginia Tech's not doing it here. Yeah, so I, I am wanting to know: is there some fool's gold here from this game with the running attack? I mean, like Virginia Tech's one of the worst rush defenses in the country. So they are. I don't, they I don't are. know if you can take too much from that. I, I'm with you. Let's see how they play. Let's see how they play it later in the game too. I mean, here's another. Run. Just, this is a touchdown, yeah. actually. So what do we counter, call that? Little kick, guard, little counter, little guard center, tackle, center, center, no, our center cool, tackle. Was yeah, it cool CT tackle. counter or whatever? Yep. Yeah, center. Yep, so this is nice. Blocked back. Uh, they they've realized that Mo can't get back to that three, so they're gonna pull him. But he pulls pretty well. He yeah, that well. was good. Oh, there you oh, go, Byers. Hit somebody. Play. Yep. Good blocking down the field here. And Mor dude, Morlocks just... fighting hard to stay attached. Yeah, oh Morlock's gosh. doing a really good job blocking downfield. After after the criticisms we've levied, levied on him, blocking in the box. I mean, but, that's really nice. But look at all that green. They've gotten look back at all that... some of the. Yeah. You can see they've gotten back to some of the detail stuff. Look at all the green space, guys. Like you said, spread them out again. It's another instance where it's like a. It just it's easier for all your guys. I mean, yeah, and you're not asking Morlock to block a, a defensive end, like on on a right. On a on a kickout block. Now he's blocking a corner. You know that makes a difference. It it simplifies numbers, right? If you do this, if you just make it even look like a read, I know he's probably reading this backside defensive end, but let's say that. So Jordan Travis, let's pause it here. Jordan Travis reading this backside defensive end, who's coming to the point that takes him out of the play, and now you've got one, two, three, four, five defenders for five blockers. Get a hat on a hat. They block downfield, and it's a touchdown. It's textbook. Yeah, and it's nice to see Mike go to this man. He's he loves he loves 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 that multi tight end utilization, and he's still utilizing the tight ends. But where he's having them aligned is making it a lot easier for the rest of his guys. So I think it's good to it's good to see that, and it it helps out that personnel who, like you said, him and even Jaheim Bell, they're not the greatest like blockers in the entire world. So it gives them an easier matchup in that area, and boom, touchdown. And Tofiel is just good at like body surfing over people for touchdowns it's a weird ability I'm sorry i had a phone call there it, it felt like they went to a lot more balanced looks balanced formations like we've seen a lot of trips from them in, in yeah that's throughout a, the beginning that's part a, of the season that's a stat pff takes takes a look at i i wonder i wonder if that holds true 
because yeah, I agree it, with you. It feels like they're always in trips. This this game, it felt like they went to very balanced balanced looks, and they're seeing so much cover one, so they're getting one high safety, and then they're able to kind of attack the matchup that they like the most based on that balanced look. So by balanced, I mean they've got two guys out wide, a uh, single high safety, two backers in the middle, and then right equal four. guys on each side of the yeah. formation. When you start yeah. doing trip stuff, you start rotating guys, and uh, you know it. it I don't know. It can be muddy. They maybe they feel like they like the matchups better with that balanced um, alignment with two and two, whether it be two wide or two wings. Um, I, I like it too because Jordan makes really good decisions. I feel like in the in the read game. So any play that gives you like a backside component, you can kind of run the ball to where that safety isn't. And I I, yeah. I think you've got the experience and the veteran leadership to. To, to put that decision in their hands, man. I just, the reads look cleaner. It just, it feels like it's easier for the guys. Now, maybe like you get a little bit of fool's gold because of how Virginia Tech played it and the quality of their run defense. But I'd like to see, I'd like to see more balanced stuff in their, in their repertoire going forward. Here's what always, here's what always baffles me w- with, with Mike. Like that down stuff, we saw very successful in this game. It'll yeah. disappear for the next three weeks. We won't see it again for three weeks. Yeah, like, it's not a counter. And then it'll come out again, and it'll be great, and they'll run it and go crazy with it. And then it'll disappear again. Like, I, that's yeah, a matchup I'm, thing. They're looking for something specific. Yeah, for sure. For it. Absolutely it is. But you don't, it doesn't have to be a matchup thing for that play to be successful. Like It, it wasn't with counter it, for the first four games of the season. It didn't right. matter that everybody was spilling it and kind of kicking you in the teeth. Maybe it will. But I'm with you. He's so good and so matchup specific. It's – this dynamite stuff that works for the first drive of the first quarter and the first drive coming out of halftime. And then you kind of get the lull where it's like, it's long ball city a little bit, but I'm with you. Like take, take the stuff that worked, even if it's not a hundred percent opponent scouted and run it, run some down against Syracuse and see how it goes. Cause your line looks very confident, repping it to me. Yeah. 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 We'll see. We'll see kind of, hopefully they show some of the less successful runs in this, in this kind of clip and we'll see kind of what doesn't work but this works it's a great finish by little he does a nice job he seems to have a knack for rolling over top of guys so i, I want to talk about this play this is snag it looks like yep. so a triangle read from the offense right so you've got these guys making a triangle uh fsu's playing kind of a box cover four look over them on, on this half of the field and they do a really good job, especially Lundy. He's supposed to be looking for the first guy in. He's watching him go vertical. His eyes snap to this guy. Does a good job pattern matching that and breaking that up. And I, I think that's just a wonderful job on a tough coverage with the, with with the route that's tough for, for him to to find in this for match. a team that can't run zone coverage, as we've been told so many times. And a lot of. Uh, I didn't see a lot of Tatum Bethune in this game. So there was a lot of different linebacker combinations, mm-hmm. either playing together for the first time or really getting significant minutes at all for the first time. And I thought, I thought they played pretty good. Keon, there you go. Good punt return, brother. All right. Again, this is the same thing we saw in the touchdown drive. It's a little RPO. You're looking at probably this mm-hmm. guy yeah. on a dig. So this is how you last last the Clemson game. We were saying, well, the, you got all these guys sitting in the box. How are you going to throw the ball intermediate? Well, this is how you do it. You run an RPO. You try to get these guys to bite so you can get that easy completion for, for JT. And it's just I, I don't know why, but it feels like in their first couple drives, they go to this play and then it just disappears. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is this the stuff that Tate feasted on Louisville with? Uh, yeah. He hit this a few times against Louisville. It was yeah. glance, I guess. Was it? But is that the same? Is that the same concept? Is this? I just remember RPO with like in breaking routes from the outside. It it, it, it looks, looks like more like true thing. slants, but that just might be a coverage. Like if he's pressing, he might run a slant instead of a dig. You know. Okay. But I, same sure. same methodology of attack against the defense. Right. Just getting easy completions, moving the ball. All right. So here's a less successful run. Yep. So we're trying to run down again here. Let's Keandre in. Um, oh, All right, holds yeah, the point. You've got a little less of a ba- of a balanced formation, even though you've got two and two. You've got an attached Y. Right up here. 
So you, you've got, you're allowing that backer or that safety to be inserted in the box there. He's a box player now instead of having to play out wide. I don't think he makes an impact on this no, play. I think it's doesn't. I think yeah, I th- just a straight miss block. Yeah, I think Jones just missed whiffs. Yeah. Yeah, he does so better not, on that later in the game. Like gonna, but... I would say he's going to pop if he gets yeah. over that one. It does. I think this is this is there. Byers, yeah, a lot of yeah, penetration it, it, and that's Byers, what, uh, guy. That's what Trey scores on in the second half. Yeah, and because Keandre flattens some mm-hmm. dude, so miss miss execution. It, yep, they clean. It they, they see he seems to have some technique issues as the game kind of starts and then gets cleaned up a little bit as it goes along. That's a nice catch by Morlock, man. Yep. he's shown his value for sure as the years kind of or as the seasons kind of progressed. You could, he's gotten more confident. He definitely has an athletic upside that that you oh, yeah. see there, 39. and I think they're putting him in better positions to succeed blocking wise. This is a this is a cool throw. It's a good throw. The anticipation and it's it look. There's Jaheim Bell in the game, and it looks pretty janky <laughs> from the throwing motion again. But I mean, dude, it's it's a heck of a throw. Yeah, Johnny does a nice job. They won't. I don't think they'll show the end zone view, but he does a nice job at the top of this route, stemming to the post and really getting the corner to kind of open the steps <laughs> and then coming back to the flag. Mm, yeah, this is. Dude. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is a classic smash switch mm-hmm. concept. So. Um, you're essentially high lowing usually. Uh, this cornerback. I guess he might drop with him. So I I don't know how they're necessarily. Yeah. Okay. So he's just seeing this guy bite up. Then he gets a one on one with Johnny, and that's just a hard route to cover in space. And he throws it before he makes his break, man. So it's good anticipation, a good placement on the ball. That's fading away again, right, Adam? Mm Mm-hmm. And even this, like I prefer this to the the kind of like back shoulder fades. Like this is he just has there's a lot more room here to throw this football and adjust to it. I don't it's, know. It's, yeah, I, I'm with you, dude. It's a higher percentage because it's a, it's a crafty route concept. It did what you wanted it to do, and you made it easier on your like jump ball freak receiver. Like just because they can, you can be clever about the way that you do it. And apparently Wilson said he's like, what did he tweet? Like, I love them boys. I'm straight or something. So we, th- I, I don't, I don't want to give a full medical diagnosis, but apparently it wasn't too serious coming from the, the horse's mouth there. 22, nothing Florida state is romping on Virginia tech, both offensively and defensively. I wonder if this is called or if this is Edmund recognizing screen. So you see him take off and then drop. Hmm. No, that's cold. Yeah, because I think no, I think cold. uh Lundy does something similar up top. Yeah, he yeah, for sure. There you go. Look at so, no, I mean it worked. It's Lundy's fine. doing yeah. moving fast here. And there's Gilbert kind of spinning around, making a great play. Very nice. They attacked us on the edge all night, Kev. It'll be interesting to see like where they got. I mean, they're doing a really great job here early. They haven't showed they haven't showed many of the Flat routes. I'm sure they're coming, but yeah, well, it was... I don't think they had a first down at this point. So I, I think they're no, they might have had like less than 10 yards of offense on like three or four possessions at this point. Like the yeah. defense was lights out, and then they yeah, just it was. I don't oh, know. we're about there. Okay, third nine. So this is JT. JT did a good job of this. They haven't shown many of them, but he was very decisive. Like, <laughs> come back, on, dude, back from the back. back. So well, the best part is the hold on Roddick. Watch the hold on Roddick. This this is apparently a hold. That's oh, so weak. Oh, dude, it was. This is when it got real stupid, Kev. This entire quarter. That so they hold. call that, then they don't call the. Yeah, I, I kind of refuse to believe that they didn't hold on FSU for the rest of the game that badly. Yeah, throwing the Tanaka sliding elbow to the back of his head. <laughs> just fantastic stuff here. Just bam. Oh no, no, it's all good, dude. No, point to him. I'm not looking. Guy in the H isn't looking because he's a jackass. I wonder if this was a cold draw. Mm. If it's not, he probably shouldn't be releasing up field before the ball's thrown. Because if yeah. JT throws this ball here, that's a legal man downfield. That's a good point. Yeah, no, Roddick looked like he was. Uh, it, it he looked like been. he was on a mission. It may have been. Yeah, good call. But he might just not know where to be. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. 
I know that that's a freaking penalty, bro. <laughs> Especially in 2023. You're staring that's okay. at it. FSU would have their whole defense ejected for that. Here comes another one that should be a penalty. Oh, look at this, Kev. Uh, what? <laughs> Dude yokes him by his collarbone while the ball's still in the air. Piece of crap, ref, bro. Piece of crap. Did he and just it's on the field? <laughs> that uh, was the flag, but yeah, yeah. it was like one of the, it's the shoulder Hops grab bumper stickers. Yeah, it's awful. That's pretty bad. Let's see. You'll see, right? Right? Yeah, there. dude. <laughs> it's like yokes them. Yeah, and that's that's probably a pretty big play. It's so hard because you see this like once a game where it's like, well, like that's a touchdown. Yeah, it's, I, the best, I, it's the best deep ball that JT's thrown all year. And Douglas like, looks smooth out there, man. That that's a nice that's a nice wrinkle to have, right? I mean, it's you want to criticize the deep ball. I mean, this is this should have been a touchdown. Yeah, or at the very least, a, like like a, a well earned yeah. DPI. Absolutely, yeah. So that's crap, dude. So there's three crap calls in a row. All right, Kills, you're up twenty two nothing. Drive. Not the biggest deal. No, no that's my wife's cousin. It gets dumber. In is fact. it really? Yeah, the oh. punt returner. Hey, man. All right, so they 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 break a couple runs on you here. In this. Ooh, Ooh, what is what is Jerry doing? He's uh, he's reacting to the motion there. Yeah, he's manned up they, here. Yeah, okay. they do the return. They do the return or orbit, and he's a man. Oh, so yeah, this is actually this could have been pretty nasty if they got it out there. What happens inside? So fist goes. Down. Well, we're bringing it. We're bringing Omar off the edge, so we're already outnumbered inside. But Peyton slides inside. And then they do an ISO. Well, ISO block. Right. And we're just a little slow filling. Yeah. And again, it teams have kind of been able to get this. This feels like a trend where if teams have kind of figured out ways to get FSU corners because they're in man to kind of like if, if you block inside on onto the safety who's supposed to be filling this gap. Well, now this corner has to fill mm -hmm. and they've just not been there. Well, I mean, most that's so run, hard to do. Yeah. Most run games, you're kind of trying to design to get one-on-one -on -one with somebody in the secondary that you think is a liability. It's a well-designed play for sure. Yeah. But this, I mean, this is, this is a component of knowing that they're going to run a lot of man. You can kind of, design this to get him here you know but this is one of the reasons like everybody's clamored for blitzing like you kind of blitz yourself out of this one yeah yeah five coming it's not the answer to everything still a decent job of mm -hmm. uh, i think that's brown kind of blowing yeah. this play up despite getting you know a blocker on him yeah for sure yeah he kind of does a little roadblock there. Not, not he's in there. Kid's got a lot of time, and then yeah, just you're getting lost much, angles. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, and then Lundy's chasing his guy. I don't know. Just that this was going to happen. Pat people have been seeing a lot of people saying like that. This should be a peel back block. I I don't. I mean, it looks like a really clean block to me, but I guess by the by the book, it should be. They they're calling it all this year at it. It's a point of emphasis. It's it's just weird how it wasn't on this one. So I'm with you. I'd say like three years ago, it looks good to me, and it still looks good to me with yeah, my old that, Neanderthal eyes. But that's yeah, that's a that's a. I've seen side. that called all year. Yeah, it's a, it's a point of emphasis, right? Kev? I mean, that's a blindside block. That's the definition of it. He is not looking at him. He has no way to see that block. Uh, yeah, I mean that's. Um, I think Patrick Payton kind of gets kind of, he loses his rushing lane here thinking that thinking yeah, outside, yeah. but that's not his responsibility. Nope. Not his job. Now so you can see him, and, what him, him and Fisk both kind of pivot at the same time and he should have just hung in the inside is what you're saying. Right. You, you see, well, they've Fisk got this your edge. Dunk going. Fisk is your edge now. I mean, he, they loop him outside. Right. Yep. So Fisk is your edge player. He's responsible if he gets outside. Peyton just kind of 
Uh, we've seen that a couple of times with him. We're just kind of guessing a few times and trying to trying to do a little bit too much. I think um, trying to athlet- athleticism his way out of it a little bit. Still, still some young mistakes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You see it open up there. Oh, yeah. God, dude. I could walk my fat ass through there. <laughs> That's a big boy, dude. Huh? This is a big yeah, quarterback when he got load. some when he got some speed. That kid's a load. That back ran really freaking hard. Yeah, no, he was very impressive. Uh, see? Yeah. Who was that oh, he dude. threw to the ground? Yeah. Cypress. Yeah, Tootin Common. He was pretty tough. Still holding <laughs> to a field goal. Yeah, this this is a good stand. You know, they they got a they got a couple plays. This, I don't know if this is I don't know if this is the play it, it, might, it might be the next scoring drive for Virginia Tech like some guy almost rips off Jared versus face mask on like a fourth down and they don't call the hands of the face this this plays dead. this is why I don't you you run you've been running the ball well you run for four you ran for four on first down then you're coming back I don't the the mm, who's everything that, just kind of got muddy here the, play, the pace of play slowed way down it just I don't know what Scott's doing there. Yeah, it's just poorly blocked. Falling off of his block. And then Washington's way out here, not blocking anybody. Oh, yeah, it's two whiffs, dude. That's execution. I, I don't know. I It's hard they, it's hard to know. Like they haven't run screens well all year year, it doesn't seem like. These no, little running back screens they haven't hit very well either. Yeah. Which I mean it's a staple of their offense. They need that. That is how they move the ball consistently. Got a oh, million the years back oh, the there. There's Johnny right there, right? Oh no, I like what you see at Benson. A lot of space. I mean, there's there's anything here. I think you could hit any three of these He's guys. He's staring down the field though, like. And maybe he was looking. Maybe he froze because he thought he had this, and the safety comes over. It's hard to know what he's thinking, or he could be looking at the the deep shot, which isn't. This isn't the time. You know, they're they're playing back. Who are they dialing up on a deep shot, though? Morlock? No, it's Keon out there. Oh, okay. I was looking at... At the top of the screen. Yeah, he's looking left. Yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, and then it, comes, kind of a... it looks like he comes back to Johnny, and it's a little too late because Johnny's running in the backer. Yeah. This was the first time, if I recall correctly, this is one of the first plays of zone that that they saw out of Virginia Tech also. Like Virginia Tech had been running yeah. a bunch of Virginia Tech had been running a bunch of cover one and then they jumped into this. And it if I if I remember the kind of the game flow correctly, it it struck me as oh yeah, they they got Jordan on that one. Yeah, it was a good call. It was a good switch up, dude. You're absolutely right. I remember this exactly you texting it. And it was just a good call by the defense, man. But what's dude, interesting is Keon he's gotta look actually... at that right there and be like, Okay, if it's man, Trey Trey's out running him to the to the sticks. And if it's zone, we've still got we've still got a good potential with it. Like he's got to do a better job there. Yeah, this is third down. If if this was first down, I I get why he would freeze. You see this last second, so you can't. We don't have the all twenty two, but you see the deep safety is here, which means Keon is on a post against an outside leverage corner with no help. That would be a touchdown on first down, but on third and six, get the first down. I'm with you, especially with the with the pressure coming up the middle. You got to speed that computation up a little quicker. Yeah. All right, so he short circuited, bad execution, and then just two bouts of bad, ex- bad yeah, execution, it's bad decision making. You had you had a dog meat call that screwed your last drive, and then not when you just have a bad drive. Like so far, you've played really well offensively. It just it Oof. feels like they don't have that ability to get that. They haven't been getting that third down consistently to move the ball in this situation when, like, just get one first down. Give your defense a second off the field. Like, it feels like it either works or it doesn't, and you get a three and out. Yeah, I got you. Not not too many, like, two first down completion, then punt, field flipping type drives. It's either touchdown or kind of nothing. Or score or nothing. What happens here? They, oh, they... You got you got Blake in. He's just kind of out of. He's in la la land. He's guessing. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. They they kind of get stuck with some of that stuff. What gets him? The back, I guess, stepping up towards a gap, but I don't really know. Like, 
he's following yeah. the flow of the play. It's inside zone, but he just kind of gets lost. You are a little outcapped here on the inside. I mean, in theory, if you uh, want to say like assign gaps, one of these safeties has to be here. It's uh, a nice block by the, the left tackle for Virginia Tech. That's a nice block. He walls the hell out of him. At least he's 65, dude. Just, right, that, that's, I mean, that shouldn't really happen. Right. No. That's what you're hoping doesn't happen. Now you've got a freshman linebacker. Turner in there. Right, so make up Turner for Turner. There. But Turner looks like he's trying to get across his face there, oddly enough. So could be – I mean, the whole line looks like it goes left. I, yeah, they I slant left, right? Some, yeah, they, they've got to be expecting somebody to be there, and it yeah, doesn't he's, show up. That, could be that has to be Nicholson. Like, I mean, I, you're right. It looks like a like a stunt. Heavy yeah. slant, yeah. Like right off the snap. All yeah, everybody. The it's almost like they're running like zone. Like they're running like a zone <laughs> block on the defensive line. Yeah. I kind of guess Blake's maybe out of position there. Yeah, dude. It, it, true for true. He's a true freshman, right? Well, there he is. Yeah. Kind of mixing it up a little bit. But you're gonna take Josh. your lumps. Josh just destroy that dude holy crap oh that's a push by 75 that's not nice <laughs> eh, they'd call that it's kind of a week that was a little yeah weird. they would this oh, is what dude. they started killing you with oh, yeah. it looks like a hold out here it looks like the ball oh, scraped the ground a little bit well he, dude he's blocking that guy directly in the back <laughs> i mean like i think right we just well, were a little slow to get into him they they kind of went with big personnel out there on the edges. They had big wide receivers already, and then they just kind of started blocking the crap out of you. <clears throat> I just don't see how to, that's not a hold on 12. Right here. Yeah, dude. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. Th this was something they found in the offense, and they kept going back to it, and they had pretty good success. I'd like to see our – I'd like to see the cornerbacks fight through blocks a little bit better, but they did a good job of personnel matchups, Adam, having big dudes out there blocking yeah. your cornerbacks. Yeah. yeah, they found a mismatch there with with I guess with some of our rotations. We were looks like we're rolling into some cover three stuff there. I think I or think some, they might be rolling into like cover one rat or whatever yeah. you want to call yeah. it. You with you the see, one deep safety. You see Shaheem time. rolling down here on the opposite side and they're throwing it the other way. Yeah. So Could they they do kind of have numbers. You, you'd like yeah. to see AZ out there a little bit faster. Yeah. I mean, you got to think about it. This is his man, you know, like if we're thinking he's in man free. Yeah. We're in, we're in a frozen. dime package here with, with AZ kind of as the mic. So, yeah. They've kind of done that a fair amount this season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not the best. Angle uh, not successfully that. either. All right. FSU got a generous spot. Doesn't really matter. No. Uh, Do the old push push. Got oh, lucky. You got lucky there. Yeah. Yeah. Greedy. Yeah. Greedy Vance. Greedy got kinda... a little. Greedy got a little greedy. He did. Hey. So technically, it's not. That's not. Well, I'm going to say this. I don't know if they're. It's hard to tell if they're a man or not. But. I mean, someone's got to be out here. Yeah. You already kind of lost being it's, in third and two. It's here, man. it's here, uh, or or Kalen. Well, either they're in man or they're in cover four. In either way, well, they're not in cover four because well, they could be down on this side. But yeah, I think it's probably man, and yeah, you know, one of these guys has to be out here. But no one takes him. Kalen's coming to him, then he gets picked when it's illegal because it's behind the line of scrimmage. So, actually, it's not legal. Be well, he didn't catch the ball, so it didn't matter. But it actually was illegal because he was downfield. Yeah. Fourth and two. Way too much but, time to throw. Right, that's where Jared gets. Oh, yeah. Oh, is this where it... yeah. yeah, dude. He gets, he gets gouged in the eye, man. Oh, yeah. Directly. What's that, dude? Isn't that like, like what Dion's kid did to that one dude? Just, yeah, bam. Like, ah, I dude. think I think Captain Insano did that. He did, and he showed no mercy, just like that Virginia Tech offensive lineman. And uh, a, a great one. no call there. Yeah, you're getting, I mean, main coverage. Yeah, it's just tough. Back. It's just tough, yeah. Kid just makes a nice move against your athletic linebacker. I mean, yeah, tip but the cap. Tip the cap. 
Dude, and then Jared even had to sell the call like he was on Monday Night Raw. Like it was like an exaggerated sell, and it was like, no, nah, we're just not going to happen. But like he's probably overrunning that to the sideline. But yeah, you, know, you gotta you gotta think the kid's going to keep running to the sideline on this ball. So oh, dude, that's a sick move by that running back. Yeah. Like that's oh, that kid played a hell of a game. No, he's a good player. So that's yeah. When you get bailed out by the refs, nice conversion. What's funny is that I've I've criticized Kalen for taking two shallow of an angle so like trying to attack too far this way and getting kind of beat to the outside and here it's almost the opposite mm-hmm. He's, I, he adjusted and i think he did I the right thing i think it's he just, plays it really well that's a stop on a dime spin move back across. i mean just crazy yeah, that's pretty nasty yeah now, I thought, that yeah. running back's good he's, yeah. he's a good ball player that ain't on kalen there that's just a nasty nope. little move Third and three. Ugh. Good tackle, Fintro. Yeah. I thought they yeah. played physically. Like uh, it's they mostly how are they getting in a third and three, you know? Uh run, run, yeah. I, mean, I think they yeah. they ran it fairly successfully. The swing attacking the perimeter with like swing passes and yeah, stuff probably, like that. They, probably, they were consistently probably a getting, swing and an inside zone run. Like yeah, they were consistently getting like three or four by this point, but Wait, well, I'm fairly sure they didn't show the late hit, the roughing the passer interception. Oh my god! No, you, no they didn't. Yeah, and that was yeah, garbage, yeah, dude. The Turner was, thing. That was he, a drive. He wasn't high. He wasn't late. It was the. It was actually at the beginning of this drive that which would have short circuited this whole like 16 play drive, and it was. That's dude. I don't care if that's not a real play that happened, man. You got to put that on the condensed ACC. That ain't right. Completely miss unbalanced formation here. Well, it's interesting because it looks like you have, I mean, you've got a, like kind of a run blitz going, you're looking to kind of get them. They do a good job picking up that pressure. And then you have both of these guys out here, which doesn't seem right. I don't mind, but... they, they do a little quarterback lead. They give you the ultimate. That's so, look. that's so hard. Absolutely. But get lined up right. Yeah, there's something there's something funny going on over here. It don't look right, right, Kev? It's hard okay. to tell. This guy's a load. No, I mean, they, I, they, I, they shifted into that. It was tackle over. Oh, is that what's going on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they go tackle over. So the t- tackles in posi- <laughs> pl- position of the tight end, and they give you the unbalanced look over there, too. So the, the Y is eligible on the backside. And then they flare the back, so you got to chase him. They're so misaligned though from Jump Street, we, right? Though, Adam, we, we I don't we we don't recognize this well. Yeah, I don't think you want your defensive end on their tight Omar end. Omar doesn't here. need to be sprinting out there because the back's not or the back's. Well, I'm sorry, no, never mind. It just it feels like both of these guys are going here. I don't know where yeah. Jared's going. Yeah. And there's I, literally I no one in the C gap. I don't think you get your D line moved over. Way you, you need them to be. Yeah, that, that's a misalignment type deal. And I wonder how much of that is, you know, you have Omar Graham and DJ Lundy in here instead of, you right. know, you, you really didn't have Tatum Bethune, who I, I think yeah. would have got you in the right position here. Yeah, yeah I think you've abso- got, you got a two gap bubble up there. Yeah. For them to run quarterback lead through when you blitz yeah. the opposite side. Yeah, good call, man. Good yeah. call against misaligned. Oh, no, God, you want yeah. it. This was. Um, play 16 at that point dj is, dj yeah double guess sticks his nose inside for no reason man there have been right so there. many of that where it felt like they were flying around in the first quarter but maybe they just kind of got a little full of themselves <laughs> i don't i don't know about that dude this was a pretty long punishing drive like even Ooh. as a viewer it was grueling to watch so by the time they finally punched it in it was like eight minutes of game time or something like it was it was a service academy like yeah, level I mean, drive, with dude. A couple f- with at least one fourth down mixed in on that drive, like the BS. Um, they took away AZ's interception. Yeah, on take crap. his interception away with the BS uh, roughing. Call. And then they just they get smoked here. And then I think we just okay, we're going to halftime. What's interesting is Florida State's played now three offenses who make their living off being having high success rates. Like Clemson, 
Clemson, LSU, and I, I would assume Virginia Tech for the rest of the season are going to have some of the highest success rates in the country. And they're, they're a defense that by kind of by design are going to give up higher success rates than normal. So these like super long drives are kind of like, Ugh. this is gross, dude, especially yeah. coming out of the half, man. Ugh. Cause this is how, th- this is the type of crap we did against Boston college. Yeah. Like this is, this is how you let inferior teams get back into it when you have been whooping their ass the entire game. Um, now, to their credit, they respond immediately so, but it was just, this was disappointing to see. How did they it, lose contain this fast? Why are they didn't the like so they the edge set where they wanted it? I don't, I hate, you can't see. Yeah, I mean, oh. it does seem like there's one, two, three, four, five. He talked about they six, worked seven. this, they were expecting this and they worked it and. Is this like a is this a called special teams play where maybe mm-hmm. like Fitzgerald missed his spot on the kick or do you think he hit a spot because I mean it looks spot on but you got a you got a wave coming in from the left side I don't Couldn't know tell you. me neither it's hard to get the thing but it just does not feel like I don't need to watch these the guys game. are so far from these guys <laughs> yeah, tell you that. the lanes are off bro and then I don't know and this kid ran his ass off and boom Virginia takes in it five points away everybody's freaking out what's gonna oh, happen now boy were they freaking out stadium's blame, quiet dude I blame Adam Fuller for this <laughs> I mean it's it's 17 points now I would say five, yeah big old hoss there was stunned <laughs> you drive a Mack truck through that ball of his I wonder if this went for negative seven yards on the offense instead if we would blame Alex Atkins. For this. You see, I'm disappointed in that guy wearing the overalls. That if you're going to go with that look, take the undershirt out. Let free the nipple, dude. If you're going to go for the look, go for kid the show. look. Have a piece of like, hey, this isn't Brendan's thing. Uh, it's not a kid show. Have like a piece of like straw hanging out. Oh, Roddick. My man. Oh, here's the RPO. I was saying they didn't do it much. I don't know why they keep playing him. Yeah, Roddick gets blown up. But here, same RPO. RPO glance, RPO dig, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Coming out of the half, though. Like and this is where Johnny gets... yeah, Like I said, coming out of the half, you see it. This is where Johnny gets stinked yes, up. Johnny, yeah, Johnny, he tweeted he was okay. I don't, I don't know. I believe him. Yeah, me too. Well, let's see. More They're kind of lucky they don't get called for a hold on Roddick either. I kind of got sandwiched, dude. They, they didn't yeah. say what it was. I, I thought he got dinged in the head, but whatever. They like, said leg, but I don't know. I hope it's not. Like Rock's that. also giving away the pool. No, it's way too deep. <laughs> yeah, no, dude, they might. <laughs> they're lucky they didn't call like for having not enough guys on the line of scrimmage. <laughs> this is some. This is this is some. You, it works. I mean, he gets this is a successful play. Yeah, but in it's fairness, like, it's it's a lot harder to see when you're out there than when you're this guy, right? When we're pausing it, looking at it, but I'm pausing know, it, it from like, kind of the perfect angle. He but looks it's like he's taking looking. a snap at quarterback as like a like a service academy quarterback, right? Like that's where like Navy's quarterback would line <laughs> yeah. up. Like he's got his hands down here. <laughs> Dude, that's sick. I forgot. I forgot to notice that. Uh, all right, well, let's see what happens. All right, down. Your favorite, AB. Yeah, he gets yeah. a block, though. And this is more of a tr- like a G play because they end up blocking the, the – if you were running a true down, the guy you would be pulling, you'd be kicking. But This guy? Lights. Yeah, yeah the end, end, the end man line of scrimmage. I, I do think this down – like whatever, whatever G pull you want to call it, um, I think it does a good job of making sure that they can't, you know – uh, spill this right by yeah. by engaging him immediately. You know he can't go and blow this stuff up. Then you get by or you get Roddick around on the backer. He doesn't get Mo, down up on the safety. Mo gets up to the two. second level really quick. Gets yeah. a piece of his guy. Roddick, keep them hands inside, brother. You don't want to get called on that. Keep them hands inside. Other very really good play though. They they look comfortable running this. Run it. Run nice it next week by, too. It's a nice job by um, Biscuit to. Win that one on one, like that's oh, a good run by Benson, dude. He looks comfortable running out of that scheme, doesn't he, guys? Yeah, getting him, getting him going. You just have to get him moving vertically. So, 
going out of the pistol, running the ball outside, all those things kind of help his speed get up. And then it's well blocked. Then, but once he gets here, it's that cut, right? Once he can get that cut moving vertically, there's no one better. Good yeah, push got off. The speed to finish, the power, run through arm tackles. Like just you gotta get him getting downhill. Good response, dude. Crowd gets back into it after an injury to one of your uh and that's pillars like a, of the, the offense. Whole, all the vision talk, like he's got decent vision. I, that's been so over talked over discussed by the, the fan base. Like his his vision's not bad. That's a great vision run there. He just if it's muddy because they're not blocking anybody, damn right you can't see it. We've had too much crap in the middle of the field trying to run counter over and over Start again. Catching the ball like that. Like, come on, one hand behind the back. Give me a break. <laughs> yeah, I'm Every with you. Every team we play catches that ball. I, I wish like it, we could have like a stat that says spectacular catches against. Oh, Peyton almost he he affects the pass, but it still doesn't matter. Yeah, Peyton does a great job here. Is this your cousin blocking his ass off downfield? No, it's the other white guy. Oh, okay. There was a couple. He uh, only does the punt return. Oh, okay. Well, that guy's a good blocker. It's not my cousin. Wife's right. cousin? Yeah. It is a good block. Um, I don't know. Part of This is the same play. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling that what happens is Jarian tries to blow this up and ends yeah, up getting yeah. caught inside, which means that he doesn't his help can't get there. Right. He goes underneath he, of it. He's supposed to be able to help here. And since he goes inside instead of outside, he has no help, which means that this deep safety now has to try to come all the way down here and fill. And that's fight, a hard ask on him. Fight through the outside. So it's not a 15 yard gain. It's a five mm -hmm. or six yard gain. Right, Adam? Yeah, you want the ball back inside. Man, there have been just several plays in this game where things like that just peeking your head on the wrong side or, or doing a little thing like that. You stack up enough of those over the course of a game and um, you're going to give up more yards than you'd like. Oh, that's look at that jump, dude. Look at that. Yeah. Get off, man. Yeah. Looked explosive. Is. How far? Jeff called him fat. I yeah. Did, God wrong about that mm -hmm. one, bud. You're right. I did. P H A T. <laughs> Uh, great job. Pat's so close. But Pat. Oh, getting... he ducks right under. Oh, look at him. Now, Covers down the field, though. Okay, good. Good response by the line. defense. Good response yeah. by the defense. And Renardo Green, technique impeccable. Love the way the kid plays. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with him. Second and two. Oh. Yeah, he hey. the hill. Haven't gotten to see that. I don't know if I second and two. Should he? I wonder if he should just take off right here. No, 38's there. That's yeah, I good... think they've got good contain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's second. <sighs> if it's third and two, I'd probably be upset at this throw. But that ball is a good ball because it's actually a back shoulder throw, like not some of these under thrown 50 50 balls. Yeah, and Destin, Destin attacks the ball. I mean, that's what you've probably yeah. seen in practice, Kev, and that's what yeah. all the other guys have said. Like, that's his do that all day, man. He's really good. He's a, he's a really good receiver. I'm not going to lie to you. You haven't gotten to see much of him, but I know you wouldn't. I think it's coming. Us. I think it's coming. Boop. Ah, that's nice. He's still learning the nuance of that of the position. Oh, that was targeting. Yeah, they called it they, because they his it. helmet's on top of his head, and <laughs> dude, Jordan Travis is slapping himself into cranium. There's quarterback counter. They don't they don't run the quarterback enough. Blah blah blah. That's not why their running game struggled. Although it did feel like they ran the ball, ran him more this game. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't just design runs like that. He he took some uh, like third and three conversions that we haven't seen. So it, right, it was here's where I got choice. frustrated. You decide to go. Maybe it wasn't this one. It's after this, I think, that they go 13 personnel. Here's what I don't understand. You're running some, looks like some split zone. If you're split zoning this, man, I I don't understand why you, like why we don't see more wrap yeah. and just pull, you know, mm -hmm. just like a called pull. If if you know they're gonna leave just one person for Jordan Travis, why not why not just wrap and pull? Because you don't have numbers inside. No, especially when that safety's standing up at the line of scrimmage and he's the one that makes the tackle. Like, 
Right. They it's they have literally. I mean, if I if I take out these two, one, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven, on six blockers, you, you don't yeah. have numbers here. The more crap they have congested around the line of scrimmage, the worse they look. Because they don't have the guys on the line to win the one on one battle. Just not blowing you off the ball. But right. the thing is, like, if teams want to sit here and stack the box, you can wrap this guy and pull it, and there's no one there. This is this is a touchdown. Yeah, there's ways to use that against teams for sure. Yeah, we've uh, seen that in the past. They did like, it against Florida last year. Yeah, we haven't seen it this year at all. I don't recall. Maybe maybe they're just holding on to it. But I mean, it's a common thing people do if if mm-hmm. teams want to stack the box like that. You just don't have numbers. Jordan gets it here. I think Fairly. I don't know. They called they, they did yeah, the same yeah, thing yeah, for yeah. Virginia Tech. You know. The linesman didn't have any idea where the hell what the hell they were doing. They just called first down. That, I think he got it though. I didn't draw that. Third so they down. ran two plays of, of 13 personnel before this for one yard. Fantastic. They have like proved they're really good at running with heavy he's gotta, boxes. He's gotta get it out of his head. Because here you need to score a touchdown and the game's just over. It's right. it's just over. But your pride and your ego, and I'll say, like, you can get mad about it, but it, it's an ego thing at this point. Like, you're trying to be prideful. Like, we're going to give shit to, about, to Mario Cristobal for not taking a knee because of an ego. Okay, like, dude. Let's, the, uh, we're, we're talking orders of magnitude uh, different on, here, man. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to let that slide. I don't need to jump it and defend Mike. I'm just saying it is an ego thing. They've all got massive freaking egos. Like, you're deciding you need to go run 13 personnel out there because you got to prove you can run the freaking ball down the goal line. Like, let's spread them out and do something different because that's not working. That's it's hard to be too critical. They are they have a really good touchdown rate in the in the red zone. It just felt like that might have been a time where they felt like they could get away with it. I think it's fair to say this is team looks better running the ball against Virginia Tech when everything is spread out. But yeah, yeah. Don't say my my man Dirty Mike and Mario not, in the same not, sentence. My I'm God, brother. With, I'm not comparing them in that aspect. I mean, All right, good. Dumbest coaching decision ever. <laughs> they don't, nobody another. recognizes the screen, right? No. Yeah, it's another situation where they do a little crack block and the, the corner needs to kind of to see this and at this point start peeling away. I think some he, defensive lineman's got to recognize. Mm-hmm. We're getting yeah. through way too easy. Yeah, they got greedy. The safety is way out of position here. Akeem Dent. These two guys need to be at least here and here and at least have a chance. But yeah. I wonder, is that a mentality thing, Adam? When you like rotate a bunch of defensive linemen in there, they're fresh. Um, they don't get as many at bats as they'd have on a different team. So when they're That's in this. and they get a free like like a free lane to the quarterback, is it? I mean, this is a subjective factor, but it's like I want to make my impact play now because I know I've only got a couple more before they take me out. Can, can, can that work against you in like a screen scenario? I suppose so. I mean, it's just lack of focus, like not reading keys. Yeah, like come on, these guys are just letting you run up the field, really. <laughs> yeah, Fisk has got to know that. I don't know. It's just to me, he's like trying to make an impact where he can. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank God the guy tripped him. Oof. Gilbert. No Did bueno. not like any of that. That's called getting blown the F up. Yeah, that's a big old oof. Tight end stands you up, then the freaking tackle takes you out. Well, dude, if you're going to knife in, knife in and get some penetration, right? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, you I, think, just... I, don't, I don't play. He's Just too upright, dude. He gets right up your, under him. Your big numbers. No thanks. Come on, dog. Yeah, you can't get knocked back five yards. <laughs> There's nothing else to talk about on that play. That's what happens. Yeah, it's no one else's fault when you're knocked back. Muddies everything else up. Oh. Well, I guess you got lucky there. Just how did that happen? I thought Byron Turner played a good game, but and Gilbert had a couple plays that were solid. It's just, I don't know. They, was, uh, they're not consistent enough. Especially early on, he looked pretty good. I think they had a penalty on that to get it to fourth and mm-hmm. eight after that, like a false start or something. But yeah, like yeah. you said, it's with the defense stuff, a lot of young guys, it's little like little focus issues, right? Here's Jordan. Yeah, it, it, it feels like stepping inside instead of stepping outside. Mm-hmm. And uh, I mean, to be fair, a few of them have been on, you know, 
Lundy or or Omar Graham, you know, and then part of like Nicholson, because, yeah, like Nicholson. Part of that's you know because you have an injury. In the third quarter, they scored no points on offense. So I mean, they yeah. a little stop route down there for Keon. He's wide open, but ball gets batted down. So why are we at third and seven? That's my question. I don't. I don't remember. Probably. Sure, you try to run the ball, then try to throw the ball. It's just the amount of like. Yeah, there's a lot of that. Three and outs, or you know, four and outs kind of deal. Like get one first down. And the same way with the defense, just just allowing opposing drives to go a little bit too long. It's this like emphasis on explosiveness on both offense and defense. And you see when it's not working, the lack of consistent drives. River in the hole. Oh, man. I mean, you're gapped up. So Farmer's getting double teamed. And then Deloach very confidently runs over here. Mm -hmm. Don't really know where that's going. I guess that might be his gap here. Yeah, it might be. Somebody's got to. Somebody's got to be fitting over here. And I think Malcolm Ray just gets moved. They all do. That's a win by. That's a win by Virginia Tech's O line there. It's hard to tell what's going on in the back end there because I feel like yeah, Hussey Hussey gets down here late, and I'm wondering if he should have been there a little bit sooner. Yeah, I'd like to see. I'd like to see those safeties come down more aggressively. I mean, still. You'll get your wish a little bit later. Yeah, I've seen that clip. But like that, why, why, why against a team? I, I, they could, I'm with you, dude. They couldn't beat you deep. All they were doing was attacking the perimeter and running it up the middle. There's no, there's no reason. You don't have to have this level of respect for the kid other than his scramble ability. He didn't hit a deep shot the entire game. I'm with you. I think that's fair. Like you're just making life so much harder on these guys. Like you don't you don't need to do that. I don't I don't get it. And I know the defense played a played a fine game, but you're still letting up 5.1 yards per carry, and part of that is because these safeties have to come from 15 yards back to make this tackle. Yeah, so that's their tackle to make. This is his tackle to make. Especially in a game where you know you're playing a lot of young guys at the second level at the linebacker unit, right? And I, I think I'm harping on a little bit too much, but that's what we I, do. Just, I think that's that's something that, I don't know. I, I think it's one of those things that's going to look really well, good when they don't play a mobile quarterback for the first time. And you're up, you're also years. up 15 yeah, they, you're trying they, to avoid explosives. If, if, they, gonna... if they want to go on another, if they want to go on a twelve play, ten minute drive here, because that's all they've been able to do. Like, oh, oh, all right, okay, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a that really good, a good point. point. And I think I think that plays into a lot of how they how they see defense. Like, if teams want to risk trying to do twelve play drives where quarterback doesn't make an incompletion for you know, 18 straight snaps, like, that's fine. We're going to score more than you, you know. There's a lot of data out there that supports that that's a successful way to coach your defense. Like, teams are going to make mistakes, you know, they're, they're not going to have a perfect drive. And throughout the course of the game, that that's the best way to kind of go about it. Hmm. Yeah, uh, here you yeah. go. Um, again, another, you know, crack block. He comes and fills. He actually does a fairly good job. You'd hope Gilbert Edmund, Edmund kind of puts up more of a fight than this. This also, they they get beat they get beat on the D line too much. They don't they don't own the line of scrimmage the way I think this D line has been talked about kind of throughout the season. Not in this game. Not on this drive. It's in spurts, dude. Oh, that's nice go. though. Yeah, I, I think they're, they're pretty good at pass rushing. I think they you can are. say that. And I think that there's a major emphasis on rushing the quarterback, kind of stopping the run on the way to the quarterback. Yeah, that's a yeah, he, off size on this one. 
it'd be fun, man. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, the old CFO for the state of Florida talks about my man D Jackson. I'd like that to see him. That would be a beautiful, beautiful thing. Look That's what I was saying at the beginning of the year. He's he's a different setter in the middle there. This is stupid. It's a penalty on them yeah, too. It's a horrible hold. Horrible, horrible hold. It should Pete should have had a sack before he ever got out of there. Yeah, he threw him on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah dude, seventy-seven. Yeah, just yoked him. We Can we missed. just talk about how this kid's never made this catch in his life? Well, it should have been an, an offensive pass interference, too, because he two hands shoves him in the back. And <clears throat> and then I saw this play. This was this was stupid, but it's like, I mean, you're playing coverage down the field. Oh, and he almost you gets got him. Sacked he almost gets once, him. He he almost gets twice. Him. And it's like, all right, so four guys have missed, and he makes one move. And it just kind of is what like, it is. He would... Better play from Hussey there. We'd like to see. Yeah, Hussey yeah. falls falls down well, I, and. But this is what Ab and I were talking about. Think about all the positive stuff you did on defense to get him in fourth and <laughs> nine million, right? Like you can't you can't overlook that. Like, oh, it's stupid that he almost converted the, that. It's like those whoa. two got to do a better job working as a tandem there. They don't do a good enough job. Like Kalen's got Kalen's got to take the outside. Conrad's yeah, got to take the inside. Like tandem tackle this thing, get him on the ground. Yeah, it it looked know. like it looked like he thought that he was setting the outside. Yeah, because you can see that he sets up here. He was yep. going yep. here. He was so going to take the yeah. So him slipping here put both people out of position. Ultimately, though, you got him out of bounds. Drive over. First down. Just direct your like, yards per play metric. Like like, yep. but like you said, Adam, a lot of time wasted. Nothing to show for it because they right. couldn't do the Let's thing over and over and over again. Go. Yeah, that's a great block by him. Hope he keeps putting that on film. Yeah, he dude. blocks two guys really. And then that's Andre, why this, this, this this is the Shoo. one where he suns that dude, a big old seventy-five here. Another advantage of doing these outside runs instead of doing a bunch of counter and stuff, like doing this whatever you want to call it, G pull or or down Ooh. or whatever, is it allows some of your better blockers. <laughs> your tight ends and your wide receivers out in space to win these matchups. I mean, I haven't seen an offensive lineman win like that all year. Dude, I like, man, we were dogging on Keon a little bit, like game two or whatever for missing some blocks or not showing some effort. He's bought in, dude. He's ready to go. Like that's, that is, that is multiple great blocks. Yeah. Cause he probably hadn't seen the ball in a while either. And he's still no, I, don't, I don't know if he has. He hadn't had a catch since the first quarter at that point. Still playing his ass off. Jones did a good job too. Oh, Jones did a great job, dude. And then Benson, look at him go, two hundred yeah. yards. I'm still going to critique like the fact he hasn't seen the ball since the first quarter is it's stupid. Like I don't get it. You can't manufacture a touch for him on a shallow cross or something. Like yeah, I don't understand why they're not trying to get him the ball in <laughs> his hands before forty yards downfield. Come on, Jarian. It's <sighs> okay. Jarian's gonna make that tackle. He got dinged earlier. He he didn't have his best. He didn't have his best day. I think he's probably frustrated coming out of the scheme. That's a, that's what's so frustrating about this defense is like one angle or one tackle on every play from being like an elite defense, like truly just yeah. shutting down this team, like suffocating. Completely. Right? Yeah. Right. That's that's the thing. Is like I'm getting frustrated not because this defense is playing poorly, but they're because they're playing so close. To elite. That's a good play by Double J yep. right there. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, I'm with you, Kev, because it's especially when you watch the film like we do with a fine tooth comb. It's dude, they're right there. They're right. And when there. it clicks, like those first couple drives, like offenses have nothing. Tech look over. Tech looked overwhelmed, basically. Counter. And again, you try to run within the tackles in a compressed formation, and look what happens. Oh, Preston. Preston. I think that... What's going on here? Yeah, I don't, I don't think Biscuit's supposed to block him. Yeah, Biscuit's they, they, probably they supposed get to release this, upfield. This gets muddied there for, for them. I think Biscuit should be arc releasing... You yeah, gotta get a, you got to get 45 has got to get a piece of 34, though. Oh, I'm sure. 
I mean, yeah, this just blows up the kick out, but then, yeah. If you not, if you're going to block, I mean, if you're going to wash him, like get into him and wash him so Dude, that, so that Rod can come around you and then we're outside. Yeah, it, it wouldn't have been a great kinda... play regardless, but if Daniel gets a piece of that guy, it's a first well, down I think conversion. It I think it actually could have been a really good play. Like, it, Yeah, it, no. It if, if... I think this could have actually gone for, for six. If Biscuit, like – Engage him now. Like, don't take that arc release like you're going to, and then decide. Oh, wait, I'm not. Yeah, if you're gonna get him, wash him down. Go engage him. Yep. Then Roddick's able to get around you, and Daniel's able to keep coming around. Then you've got Roddick wrapping on 34, and Daniel up on the safety, and now you're gone. Yeah, this could have been big. I agree. It's just you got stuck between a shit and a fart. Yeah, yeah 85 is not yeah. doing nothing. Yeah. The old, uh, and you you mentioned it too, man. Biscuit looks like a better blocker when it's immediate firing off. And it, you know what I'm saying? Like it's immediate engagement. Yeah. Uh, they still get the conversion, but it was, it could have been a lot better. And tater sauce. Tate sauce. Smart play. That looked good, Kev. What do you think about that? I have no idea why this is on the condensed game. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, I don't know. He, I know. Well, I know. There's one play I want to analyze. that's on this game that Tate runs. Well, let's just go to it. <laughs> it's it's actually designed explicitly for their blocking downfield. This is designed for Preston Daniel, for and Tate to he throw gets it knocked on his butt. Oh no! <laughs> Forty five. <laughs> yeah. So he that is the smart play. He throws it away. Just All right. let's fast forward to the end. You don't want to see the my my. My wife's cousin. He's got good hands. Hey, he feels. He's returned like three for a touchdown. Yeah, all state. Kind of hey, yeah, I think they were all fair catches this game. Oh, I guess we got to see the hussy denogonization. All right, what's going on here? You actually have a safety in the box, so the whole backup safety argue, argument doesn't go in. Yeah, the backups are in. Yeah, backups in. That's what happens. Any lines. Pat plays patty cake, jumps around. Yeah, and you're out. he does. I think we missed the. They didn't include the hussy play on the condensed game. I think it's coming up soon, isn't it? No, dude, it's before this. It was. It was in like was serious it? game time. It wasn't like backup. He gets a. He causes a fumble here to end. To end garbage oh, yeah, time you're points. Right. Yeah, you're right. What a disgrace! What a great dude. tackle! What a great player! Yeah, he got kicked out. Targeting. Yeah, this is like that. Bam. Hey, there he is again. He, this is a nice hit on the kid. He, he... oh man, the king get washed up the middle, double team. Linebacker doesn't know where to be. That linebacker is n- not it's a, a scholar. Scholar. linebacker that scored a touchdown. Oh, is that Cryer? Oh, okay. No, that was Courtney. That oh, wasn't. No, Courtney's not out there in the middle of the field. 41? Mm. 41? I have no it's idea. Brian Courtney. No, 41's not Brian Courtney. Are you sure? Yeah, he's 86. <laughs> On defense? He doesn't or play. Another linebacker anymore. whose last name is Courtney. I think Kev's right. Well, I think there Scott might Trill. be a I don't know. Is there do they do a I jersey they change? Him, I, I thought they put him back on offense permanently. Dude, I don't know. I don't know why we're in. Analy- it's, it's whatever. It's not important. <laughs> it doesn't matter. This this is a great, great play. I see. Now I want to talk about a real good play. Oh, 30 seconds left in the game. Third down. Third and 14. 40 seconds. You got a nice lead. There's a lot of temptation to maybe hand the ball off to the running back there for no discernible reason. Mike calls the perfect play. Tate executes it with one deft step behind him, puts his beautifully, beautifully manicured knee on that dope Campbell field. And that's game over. That's just how that's supposed to look. No need to get the running backs involved because who knows what could happen. He puts that wonderful patella, dragging that turf. More arrows to the kneecap, please, Kevin. One more. That's perfect. And that hits that knee, and that's game over, fellas. That's how it's drawn up, unless you're in Dade County or whatever fake county uh, the non-Miami University-owned stadium is in. Wait, I, have, I do have a question for you, though. What if Hakeem Williams had 99 yards rushing? Do you give it to him? Well, it depends on what kind of story you're trying to sell on the recruiting trail, my man. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. No team play. Great call. Game over. Knowles win. A- any differences? I'll go with you, Kevin, first, because it's the real you find you get the full flavor of the game. 
Adam and I thought this one was pretty straightforward. Florida State dominating, controlling, <clears throat> some things to clean up here and there. Referee assisted, weird special teams, but I mean, I we both felt like they did they did what they were supposed to do. Do you agree? Yeah, I mean, I, I think they went out and took care of business. It's it wasn't pretty. Um, I think if you don't have that special teams kickoff return, which is pretty abnormal for for an FSU squad, especially a Norvell squad. Um, this year, particularly, they've been good on coverage. I I think what's frustrating isn't that this team didn't look good out there. I mean, they they look like the better team, and they look like a at, at times they definitely look like the top five team that they are. I think it's just that probably like a third of the plays half the plays they're just one little like one guy does something wrong one guy is in the wrong place or or fills the wrong gap or does the wrong thing and you're like it's still a really good team and you've probably played like a top 15 team this year with all of those mistakes but if you clean up those mistakes you you might have a top five team on your hands. And that's what's hard and that's what's frustrating is you make those kind of mistakes against the wrong team and you're looking down the barrel of of kind of watching watching your season go not the direction you want it to go. So we always talk about the potential of the offense based on the second half of that LSU game. Maybe the real hidden ceiling of this team lies on the other side of the ball. Food yeah. for thought. I don't know. Adam, what do you think? Did you feel that you feel the same way after watching it that we did when we talked about it right after the game? Yeah. I, um same. It, it was so, it was solid. Uh I played think they played a I think they played like a B kind of game and they went out and handled it. The the kickoff return was ugly and something they'll 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 get that cleaned up. Like they've covered kicks pretty well all year. Um maybe it was I don't know if maybe they had some different personnel out there or, or what exactly was going on, but uh, yeah. I I'm, Confident that gets cleaned up. Defensively, I don't know. You're just kind of playing these muddy teams. Like they just want to muddy the waters for you and, and do this weird stuff and just kind of they just want to make it a sloppy game, make it a slow, very methodical kind of uh, kind of game. And I think teams are having some success with that. So I, I want you to, you know, I hope that they continue to stay aggressive and you know try to do their best to dictate terms, but. There's a lot of give and take with that. Like, if the offense is going out and having three and outs for whatever the reason is, whether it's a bad, bad, bad call by an official or, you know, they're just getting bogged down their own, like that does impact how the defense is kind of playing. So they, they've got to continue to try to find that balance of complementary football. Um, whether that be like Kev has talked about trying to get those safeties up a little bit tighter and saying, screw it, we'll give up an explosive play here or there. We're going to try to be more aggressive defensively and get more. Get more three and out stops, and they've um, done that. I mean, I think let's be fair; they they've tried to do that, even though it's not their style. I don't, I don't think they're built for it either, personally. Yeah. But um, anyway, so yeah, I mean, I just continue to push the envelope um, as far as how you're playing complementary football and offensively. Like, let's not put stuff back in the bag that worked this week. Let's continue to try to build off it. Like, I would love to see them continue to try to package some of these plays together, build some stuff, build some play action off a of down, build some of your RPO stuff off a of down. Like let's start building this out a little bit more and more as we go here. Cuse knows it's coming, build some packages off it, some backside stuff. Like, like what we really started to see at the second half last year from the offense. I think it's a good path to go down for the game itself. It was a solid, it was like a number one from Chick-fil-A. It ain't the best dinner you ever had in your entire life, but it hits the spot, did the job, solid stuff. Want to see if we can continue, just continue to keep that run of good performances, maybe some great ones. I don't know. Mario will tell you it's harder to win every <laughs> single week with a bunch of 18 and 22 year old kids than you think. And uh, you just never want to be at your team that's got your 30 year old transfer center crying on the on the side of the field <laughs> like you just saw the green mile for the first time. So glad it didn't happen to us. Kind of glad it happened to them. We love you guys. Knowles 24-7. Hot recruiting news right now. Kev's going to have a nice Syracuse preview, as will I, with the Dane and Dane Draper and just a whole bunch of stuff. Best site, best analysis, bar yes, none, man. with a bullet. We love you guys. Keep chopping. 5-0. Oh, number four. Get on the freaking ball. <laughs>